In this video, I want to talk a little bit about the Euro FX. Now, this is the uh, 8 o'clock time frame, Eastern Standard Time, that white line there. And so I'm looking at the pre-market session here. This is the London session. And the market was pretty active. It was moving, shaking, making some nice moves in the market. Uh, and then we come into the morning session here in the crossover, the New York and the London time frame for the Euro FX. And what we're seeing here is, again, some nice moves in the market. And this market's had some nice moves that come in here. I want to come in and show you just as it come across time. Uh, some big moves in here. And then we had this big rally coming in here uh, first thing in the morning. Uh, and that started right around uh, 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock. And then it went all the way out here until 10 o'clock uh, for about two hours, that nice big long run. And then it turned. And look at this drop. It turned right around and started to drop once again. And we got that full three drive pattern in here on the downside of the Euro FX starting about 10 o'clock Eastern Time. That's 8 o'clock my time here, Mountain Standard Time. And so we had our nice little drive in here, three drives down with the nice uh, counter trends in there uh, for this entire trend down starting at 10 o'clock a.m. Eastern Time. Now, the question is, how do you know this is going to happen? How do you know when a market's going to be active like this? Well, we, we never know for sure, but there's a great way to tell if a market's going to be active uh, or the possibility of an active market. And so the way we do that is we come down here, and like I always say, you know, there's we spend 80% of our time uh, trying to figure out when to trade and 20% of our time how to trade. How to trade is the easy part. That's just, oh, get into the market. You use a market order, use a stop order, use one of these tools in here in the software to help us get into the market. The hard part is the 80%. We spend 80% of our time trying to uh, do technical analysis, look at the fundamentals, look at the news, try to decide when to trade. When is the right time to start uh, turning on the autopilot or when is the right time to take these triggers, these setups and triggers. And one tool that I use to help me is DailyFX has a calendar, all right? And the, the, um, the URL is dailyfx.com slash calendar. And so I come down, and it has this calendar across here. And you see this is Monday, this is Tuesday, this is Wednesday. Today's Thursday, the 24th. And so we can just slide down through, and we can see the importance. They put this little tag in here, of course, it tells you whether there's going to be something of high importance or not. So you can see that the Australian dollar has high importance today. Here's an Australian dollar, high importance, medium importance on the Australian dollar. So there's some activity going to be happening on the Australian dollar today. So that's a great way to know that it's time to start looking at and turning on the Australian dollar. Now the great thing about this is you can look out into the future. You can see what's going to happen tomorrow. Oh look, the US dollar is going to have the US durable goods report at 1330. So that's a high report. So that means I'm going to start looking at uh, the stock market basically. The, uh, uh, the markets that have are affected by the US dollar and that's a good, going to be a, a good market to trade and a good time to start looking for the market to move. Now, the great thing about this is that oftentimes markets have uh, movement and activity leading up to the news event. You don't have to trade the news event itself. Sometimes news events get real whipsaw, uh, whip, whipsaw-y. Is that a word? A whipsaw-y? Markets have a tendency to whipsaw a lot back and forth at the exact time of the news event when the when their news is released. But the trend uh, before and after the news event are oftentimes really good trading days as the activity of the market uh, moves into uh, more of a, a tradable volatility level. And so that's looking at it in the future. But today, we can see as we slide down here, uh, Australian dollar's been active, so we've been watching that. But look right here, EUR, 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 lots of high impacts today. Uh, and so that's been very good for us. That's what's moving the market. That's what's making the market move and have trends. And you remember the trader's prayer. Oh, dear God, please give us volatility. We'll do the rest. And so that's what we're looking at right here. We're seeing the volatility in the market. We can see that upcoming volatility, and we can trade that volatility uh, leading into the news report and after the news report. And so that's the way I like to do it. Come in here, and that's the market that will be on my radar tomorrow if they're going to have that type of a volatile day. And that's what I would suggest you do too. And that's just a quick look at the Euro FX and how we decide which marks to trade and when. Hi, my name is Lan Turner, and I'm the founder of Trade Mentors. If you enjoyed this video and would like to learn more about how you too can use the Track and Trade Autopilot, the Bulls and Bears, the Red Light Green Light System, as well as the Blue Light System, as I've exampled here, stop by my website at www.tradementors.com and see for yourself how you can start trading these fascinating markets the Track and Trade way.